morning let us study today two component system what is two component system what is reduced phase rule what is reduced phase rule we have earlier studied one component system for example water water is a pure one component system here we will study two component system for example lead and silver lead and silver it is a mixture two components are present so uh, for example two, for two component for two component system p equal to 2 okay for two component system lead and silver or any other system p equal to 2 and p equal to 1 for minimum number of phases for minimum number of phases let us take 1 1 is the minimum number of phases let us apply the phase rule let us apply the phase rule for the two component system f equal to c minus p plus 2 we have studied this is the mathematical form of the phase rule now c equal to 2 and p equal to 1 and plus 2 there are three variables there are three uh, degrees of freedom three independent variables required to define the system completely but it is very difficult uh, to plot three uh, it is a two dimension it's a plane we cannot uh, it's difficult to draw and explain the uh, three component three degrees of variables in a plot therefore one of the pressure is kept constant for a lead and silver system for example pressure is kept constant therefore a plot of temperature for example lead silver a plot of temperature in degree celsius versus composition for a two component system is plotted the, the plot obtained is called a phase diagram this is called a, what is called it is this is the phase diagram for lead silver system or for two component system so temperature uh, one of the component is kept constant therefore in a, here two represents pressure and temperature therefore one is kept constant pressure is kept constant and c f prime equal to this is called c minus p plus 1 this is called reduced phase rule f minus c my f minus f equal to c minus p plus 2 is the normal phase rule this is the reduced phase rule applicable for two component system Okay. Now let us study uh, what is reduced to phase rule. Now let us study what are two component system. What are two component system? In two component system, as pressure is kept constant, the solid is in equilibrium with the liquid. Okay. Whereas in one component system, so ice, liquid, vapor, water, vapor, there are three phases. Here you have only solid in two component system, solid in uh, equilibrium with the liquid. There is no vapor, no vapor, this is very important. And two com there are two cases, actually I have given only one. The two components are visible in liquid state. One case is the two components are visible in liquid state. For example, liquid state, lead and silver on melting, uh, it will visible, the two are visible. The opposite, the other case is the two components are invisible in liquid state. Okay, now we will not study about that, we are only uh, concentrating on the two components that are visible in liquid state. Okay. In this, uh, there are three types. In this uh, case, there are three types, type A and type B and type C. Type A, the two components are not visible in, uh, visible in liquid state, but not visible in solid state. And form a eutectic mixture. What is eutectic? Easy melting in Greek. Uh, eutectic means easy melting mixture. Okay, lead, for example, lead silver form a eutectic mixture, and the two components are not visible in the solid state but visible in the liquid state. Type B, the two components form a stable compound, for example, ferric chloride and water. You take ferric chloride separately, water separately, and mix it will form a compound. Ferric chloride or 6H2, 12H2, etc. It will form a compound. Uh, stable compound, the two components form a stable compound with the congruent melting point. What is congruent melting point? The congruent melting point is the, melt, uh, the system which is having a short melting point. For example, the compound forms have a short melting point at constant temperature and the liquid state, the liquid state and the solid state, they have same composition. Remember, in the case of congruent um, melting point, the system will set a short melting point and at constant temperature, 
constant uh -huh. temperature, the milk for pure compound, it melts at constant temperature. And in, and in liquid and solid state, they also have the same composition. Okay, now let us see type C. The two components form a compound, not a stable compound. Remember, there are two components opposite the uh, incongruent with the form a not a stable compound with the incongruent melting point. With the incongruent, what do you mean by opposite? So they don't have short melting point. They will have melt, they melt it. And then in liquid and solid state, they have different composition because the compound decomposes. That combo decomposes at its melting point. Um, therefore, in liquid state and solid state, uh, they will have different composition. They have same, congruent means same, same, congruent means same, incongruent means different. Okay, so that's all liquid state and solid state, different composition. Okay, now let us see um, two component system uh, that is type A. Type A simple detective system. Therefore, you write all this. The two components are visible in liquid state, the, but the two components are not visible in solid state and form a eutectic mixture. You write here and also in this system, for example, lead silver system, uh, solid is in equilibrium with the liquid. There are two phases. Okay. Now, let us uh, draw the diagram first. Let us how the phase diagram is constructed. So, let us do some experiments. For example, you take 100 gram of lead. You take in your beaker in 100 gram of lead and find out the melting point. Okay, you increase the temperature at one, at the short melting point at the temperature it will melt. Okay, that is the melting point. And if you heat it further and then you cool it at one point it solidifies. That is called the freezing point. So the heating curve from the heating curve the melting point is obtained and you heat above the melting point and you slowly freeze it at particular temperature it will freeze quickly that is the freezing point so for example ice what is the melting point 0 degree celsius what is the freezing point 0 degree similarly here ok now i take 99 gram of lead 1 gram of silver so 99 percent of lead 1 percent of silver the melting point decreases along the curve AC. On adding, for example, pure uh, lead melts at 370, uh, 327 degrees Celsius. On adding lead, on adding uh, sorry silver, the melting point decreases, decreases, and it reaches the lowest point at C. That is called eutectic point. That is called eutectic point. And, and on further increasing. And further you are increasing 50, 50, 50, 50 percent less, 50 percent. So this is the melting point. And, and finally, 90 percent, um, 90 percent silver, 10 percent lead, and finally, pure, pure silver melts at the 961 degree. Uh, the melting point of silver is greater than lead. Okay. So this is the uh, melting point of lead. This is the melting point of pure silver. Okay. Now. Uh, above the curve ACV, above the curve ACV, liquid melt uh, is present. That is liquid melt consisting of um, lead silver, consisting of lead silver. And below the curve AC, below the curve AC, and below the curve AC, um, liquid melt it consists of liquid melt and solid silver. Below the curve BC, we will explain the curve. Okay, below the curve uh, BC, liquid melt, it consists of liquid melt and, and solid silver because solid silver, solid silver this side, solid lead this side and below the curve, this is uh, like uh, see D, you call it as D, below the curve D uh, and C, okay, AC below the curve and uh, this curve DC, solid lead and electric mixture is are present and below the curve CE, Below the curve CE, solid in silver plus uh, and eutectic mixture are present. Okay, now there are two curves. It is very simple. There are two curves, AC curve okay, and the BC curve and the third one is eutectic point. Eutectic point, triple point. It is similar to triple point in water system. Okay, now first we will study about AC curve. AC curve, what is AC curve? 
this is not, this is called the freezing point or melting point depression curve depression decreasing so freezing point melting point depression curve of lead depression curve of lead similarly this curve is pc curve the depression melting point depression curve of silver silver okay in this uh, in the, along the curve ac liquid melt in this in equilibrium with the solid lead or in that let us apply the phase rule uh, to this equilibrium f equal to apply phase rule f equal to uh, c minus reduced to phase rule c minus c plus 1 because fit, uh, pressure is constant the yes, pressure is constant okay 2 minus 2 minus because two phase two component uh, plus 1 that's why equal to 1 and this is around the curve the system is univariate along the curve or monovariate or univariate let us now consider now BC curve. A BC curve, this curve is the depression of freezing point of um, curve of silver. Along the curve, liquid melt. Liquid melt is equal to solid silver. Let us apply the reduced phase rule. If equal to C minus 2 plus 1, equal to 2 minus 2 plus 1, equal to 1. Univariant system. Univariant system. So along the curve AC and the BC, uh, the systems, the system are univariant, univariant system. Let us now study the third one, third one, eutectic point. What is the point? The point C is eutectic point. The curves AC and BC meets at a point called eutectic point. Okay, what is eutectic point? The curves AC and BC meet at a point called eutectic point, that is C. Uh, where the three phases coexist. Remember, similar to triple point, triple point, uh, three phases coexist. Here also, there are three phases coexist. What are the phases? Solid lead. You have solid lead, solid silver, and liquid. Solid lead, solid silver, and liquid lead. There are three phases uh, existing in equilibrium at the point, at the detected point C. Therefore, let us apply the phase rule, reduced phase rule. To this point, eutectic point, f equal to c minus p plus 1, therefore component 2 and phases 3 plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, this point is invariant point, this point is invariant point. The temperature at the C is called, the temperature at C is called the lowest melting uh, mixture. This is, well, you see, melting point is decreasing, melting point is decreasing. This is the lowest uh, melting temperature of the uh, of the mixture called eutectic mixture. Okay, now the eutectic temperature, the temperature at point C is called eutectic temperature 303 degrees Celsius and the composition, the composition uh, corresponding to C, the composition corresponding to C is called eutectic composition, uh, eutectic mixture composition 2.6% silver and 77.5% lead. And what is eutectic mixture? What is, what is eutectic mixture? It is a homogeneous mixture. Remember, it is not a compound. It is a separate, com separate mixture which melts and freezes at a single temperature. It melts at a, this is a freezing mixture, homogeneous mixture. It melts at 303 degrees Celsius. For example, at a single temperature, uh, lower than this and this temperature is lower than the melting points of A and B or lead and silver. Okay, so what is eutectic the point? They will ask uh, basically you first draw the phase diagram and explain the curves. Explain the curves. Uh, okay, so you remember how what is reduced phase rule, why it is called reduced phase rule because pressure is kept constant uh, in this case. Okay. Thank you for watching.